Hello, it's Martin Varrand and we are back with a new episode in Motocross Advice YouTube channel. Today we have Husqvarna 250FA which is enduro bike, road legal and we are putting this on a dirt bike track. My goal today is to do a 30 minute ride. What's interesting is that the last time I rode motocross was over six months ago because I had a knee surgery and now I've healed up. What I've done during the off season is serious endurance training. I've done a lot of bicycling, running and different circle trainings to build my fitness. You have obviously seen this in my YouTube channel as well and I want to put it on a test today. For sure I will have some arm bump today but what I want to see is how I'm keeping up with this pace in the dirt bike track as I think my endurance is really good. And the second reason is I really encourage you as well when you go training to a 30 minute ride. Ride with a 60 to 70 percent of your maximum speed try to do consistent laps, take time, consistent lap times, build your base. I'm going to track my heart rate throughout the race and we will see how, where is my heart rate during the ride, will it increase in the end and how I keep up with this pace. So let's go riding and see how I'm keeping up with this. Training is a topic which I have also talked about in my YouTube channel and it is important and it doesn't get enough credit. Uh, it means that uh, when you go riding, plan one riding session for yourself at least 30 minutes and uh, ride with a slow pace and try to minimize mistakes, try to be consistent with your lap times and build this pace because riders, I see often my students as well, they go riding, they do 10 to 15 minute rides and then that's it. But you want to practice this long endurance riding as well. How are you keeping up with these uh, long rides? Because when it's dirt bike race and you want to go racing, the races are 30 minutes. You need to minimize your mistakes. You want to be uh, consistent on the dirt bike track and you can only practice this in the training. If you go only to race, to race, to race, that's not good. You want to do this in the practice as well.
we came 30 minutes plus two laps first thing I want to say is I'm not feeling that tired so it, it just proves my point how important it is endurance in motocross pre-season workouts because the endurance matters of course my hands are really tired right now but in general I feel great So we did 35 minutes, so it's 30 minutes plus two laps basically. And um, what I learned from this is that uh, I'm a big advocate of doing uh, off-season training, building your physics, building your endurance, running, etc., doing circle trainings. And as I'm currently preparing for uh, Ironman triathlon, uh, I have to say that endurance, it is super important thing in motocross. If you have endurance, you can actually keep up with these long distance ridings. And of course, uh, my, my hands, uh, I got the arm bump, my fingers started to hurt and it was more and more difficult to grab on the, uh, from the handlebars, but I managed to do, do the consistent laps. I had the lap times in uh, pretty much in two seconds, plus, mi plus minus two seconds. So it's really what I wanted to achieve as well, to have this consistency, consistent lap times. Of course, in the end, I started to do more mistakes because already my hands were tired, some uh, braking pumps uh, but here and there. But in the end, the most important is that when you do these long distance rides, you remember the basics, you remember the body positions. You're standing on the balls of your feet, on the foot pegs, grabbing the bike. You have your back straight and you are dynamic on the dirt bike. If you have these things correct, then you do less mistakes. And if you think about these during the ride, and you don't ride to your maximum speed, you ride 60-70% of your maximum speed, you control your technique and you try to be consistent, minimize the mistakes. That's what it's all about, that's what space training is all about. I checked my heart rate, it was consistently 110 beats per minute, so it's really low, the, the heart rate was low, of course I didn't ride to my full speed as well, but that's, that's something what we want to achieve as well. In the end, the heart rate went a bit higher, which is also normal, but still what I wanted to achieve is the consistent lap times and the heart rate staying steady. So what to conclude from this? You really need to do uh, endurance training as well, do running, cycling, build your endurance. And the second thing, when you go riding, when you go training your dirt bike, do these 30 minute rides. It really helps to build your base. You start to feel more confident on the dirt bike. You control it and you know how long can you last on the dirt bike track. And when you go to a race, you know that you can put up to a 30 minute ride and you really can have advantage over your competitors. Thank you for watching today. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I really appreciate it a lot. And if you haven't yet, 
click the link below in the YouTube description where is my book download. You can download my book for free which is the Motocross Riders Handbook which consists everything what you need to know about dirt bike riding. Get the book now and we will see with you already next week where I'm going to talk about the corner speed, how to build the momentum throughout the corner and get your corner speed better. We will see you next week. Ciao, thank you for watching today.